Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of TFC HQ presented by Kia. Maria Papadakis here. Toronto FC welcomes the New England Revolution to Bemo Field this Saturday. This is a must-win match for Toronto FC. Ten points out of a playoff spot. Five games left in the season. There will be some help needed from the other teams, but Toronto FC is only focused on getting themselves in a playoff spot. But for more on what to expect this Saturday, let's hear from the team. They've really changed up their style from the last time we've seen them. You know, they're a more high-pressing team, like I said, but, you know, we're more focused on ourselves and what we need to get done and what we need to accomplish. I think uh, collectively, offensively and defensively, we're working on uh, certain schemes that, that we know that they're going to throw at us, and we just need to be together. We're relying a lot on, on other results, but uh, we've just got to take care of our take care of our business and try to finish uh, whatever left of the season we have in a positive note. So we're obviously bringing New England to town this weekend, and they're very unique style team, very, very aggressive in the press, uh, very physical team. Um, so it'll be, you know, I don't know if I'd say miles different from the image of the game for the Red Bulls, probably even more aggressive in the press and, and more direct at times. So it's, a, again, a unique team to play against. Uh, so we're just preparing ourselves for that. The last time Toronto FC took on the New England Revolution was at Gillette Stadium. New England took a 3-2 win on the night. But looking ahead to Saturday, a key matchup in the midfield will be Jonathan Ozario and Diego Fagundes, both goal threats. But also Saturday is our Canadian Armed Forces Appreciation Night. You can catch the match at 7.30 p.m. on TSN.